What's up guys? Um, it's Penis World. Today, I'm coming back at you with another video. So, today's video... <laughs> today's video is, um... I didn't even finish the intro. So, if you guys are new here, hi, I'm Riley. Um, I have your peanut. I could show you him right now. Just give me one second. So, this channel is about pet care. Um, there's DIYs on the channel, and there's also unrelated pet hair stuff so you know it's just, it's just the all over the place so that's my hamster peanut y'all got a picture printed out if you haven't seen my back to school haul yet um it's either not posted or you didn't watch it so <laughs> sneak peek so um today is a different type of video this is a video that i've been wanting to make for a long time but i just simply can't get to all the things in this video sorry for the background noise i'm currently putting away what i've taken out Okay, so pretty much I am doing a very important topic. If you have some of these, you'll just understand what I'm saying. So um, if you see me looking down a lot, there's a paper for me what to say because I probably won't remember all of these, but I remember most. So we're doing safe and unsafe bettings um, because it's a very important topic. Um, some of you who are new to pet care, you might be like, oh, well, if it's unsafe, why do they sell them at the pet stores? It's just simply because I have outdated information, so, yeah. Um, the first unsafe bedding is pine bedding. It's not good for them. It's very dusty and stuff like that. So, if you have pine bedding, please make sure to change. And another bedding is cedar. So, pine and cedar are two beddings you see a lot in your stores you see them in tractor supply or something you see them in which tractor supplies do not go there for a hamster bedding so you will see them in petco pet smart walmart if you shop there i'm sure they sell it too and yeah so stay away from those they are just simply not good for your hamster it's not good to be breathing in some of those things that's like toxic in a way so yeah the next kind of bedding is scented i'm not 100 percent sure but i know it's why it's not safe but i know it's something about the scent <laughs> which is obvious so i mean scented bedding has something in the sense that it's not good or your hamster could get really stressed from it trying to rub its scent on it and it's not going to work because you bought scented bedding so I'd stay away from those, and it doesn't really do anything for your hamster, so, yeah. So, unnamed wood types, or unspecified, whatever you want to call them. Those are simply, yeah, stay away from them. And if you don't know why, it's because you have no idea what type of wood type it is, because it's unnamed. Like, if you just see soft wood in your store... You don't even know what kind of wood it is, so please do stay away from that. Um, there is one more bedding. I don't even know if they still sell this stuff, but I know that it's unsafe. It's corn cob bedding. Yes, you could feed your hamster corn cob, but it's not very good to keep them warm or to burrow in, obviously, because it's corn. <laughs> and hamsters obviously eat corn, so they can just live on their pile of food so that will be caused to overeating now my good list of bedding is kind of short but these are the ones i'm most familiar with i'm just saying guys there's probably more unsafe than safe beddings and there's more that i've mentioned here in this video but it is what it is so a good bedding is paper bedding so like any paper bedding you see it's been confused sometimes. I used to think that colored bedding wasn't okay, but I did more research into it, and it's completely fine, apparently. So, color bedding, paper bedding, um, those are all fine. Like, all paper bedding, as long as it's not scented. That's why I did the bad stuff worse. So, that should be fine. So, hold on. I'm going to get my pen I dropped. So, and the next 
is there is a wood-based bedding. So if you were wondering, because for some reason you just wanted to use a wood-based bedding, there is one safe wood-based bedding, and that would be Aspen. Um, I like the Peco brand, So Fresh. Um, I don't even know if they still sell that stuff. Not sponsored by So Fresh or Peco. <laughs> and it's I if you have seen how to keep your hamster cool in the summer, you'd know I use it. Um, I currently prefer paper bedding over it, but it is really good and it's really inexpensive compared to paper bedding. So if you're doing on budget, I recommend Aspen. <laughs> Uh, also, before I kind of close out this video, because I'm pretty almost done, um, I'm just going to say uh, I'm not going to go into nesting material because that'd be a whole nother topic. So guys, the cotton fluff, all I'm going to say, please do not buy it. It'll endanger your hamster. There's multiple people talking about why on YouTube, so I'm sure Victoria Rachel did. I'm pretty sure I know Aaron's animals did. It might have been an older video, but still the correct information so it's not good for your hamster just for your hamster's sake please do not do it so the beddings I recommend and just saying real quick I'm not sponsored by any of these people because um Mella melts me on YouTube so like how could I be sponsored <laughs> so <laughs> I recommend the KT clean and closey uh their clean closey mine although <laughs> I can't speak today um um, that's like the one thing I like by KT, their clean and cozy bedding, is I just find I like that the best. I get the natural one, but I used to get the white one. And I think I like that one a little better because it's like really fluffy and I don't know, it's really cozy. So I don't know why I changed to natural, but I guess I like that natural life. I don't know. So yeah. And Carefresh is another brand. I prefer KT Clean and Cozy over Carefresh. No shade on Carefresh, but it's your brand doesn't expand as much as KT Clean and Cozy, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's why. So yeah, and the last brand is Aspen, of course, the So Fresh brand. Um, I like that, and I think it's a a good brand. So if you go into other people's videos, I'm sure there's more of a listing, but I've only done a couple items because I didn't want to throw out like hundreds of items because no one's going to remember this. So this is just kind of a shorter video and the more common things I see where I'm from in my pet store. So I hope this video helped you. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, if you liked, hit that thumbs up button. If you really liked, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload every Wednesdays and Saturdays and I guess sometimes a Sundays. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Peace out.